Nestled in the crystal clear waters of the Mediterranean, the island nation of Cyprus has long been a sought after destination for sun seekers and history buffs alike. But beneath the veneer of golden beaches and ancient ruins lies a darker reality, one that has transformed this once sleepy island into a billionaire's paradise, where Russian oligarchs flock to hide their wealth and secure a coveted European Union passport. Through its controversial Golden Visa program and lax financial regulations, Cyprus has become a magnet for Russian billionaires looking to escape scrutiny and safeguard their fortunes. But as the secrets of this island haven't come to light, questions arise about the true cost of Cyprus's complicity in enabling corruption and money laundering on a global scale. Join us as we dive deep into the heart of this sun-drenched paradise to uncover the truth behind the glitz and glamour. From the high-rolling oligarchs to the politically connected power players, we'll expose the shocking reality of how Cyprus became a playground for the Russian elite and the far-reaching consequences of its actions. For the wealthy elite of Russia, Cyprus's Golden Visa program has been a golden ticket to a life of luxury and freedom in the European Union. Launched in 2013, the program offers a fast track to Cypriot citizenship for anyone willing to invest a minimum of 2 million euros in the island's economy, whether through real estate, business, or government bonds. It's an offer that's proven irresistible to Russian billionaires who have flocked to the island in droves. According to a leaked list of passport recipients, Russians make up the single largest group of golden visa holders in Cyprus, with over 1,000 individuals gaining citizenship between 2017 and 2019 alone. Among them are some of the most high-profile and controversial figures in Russian business and politics. Oleg Deripaska, a billionaire aluminum magnate with close ties to Russian President Vladimir Putin, secured a Cypriot passport in 2017, despite being denied a visa to the United States due to alleged links to organized crime. Viktor Vexelberg, another Russian billionaire and major shareholder in the Bank of Cyprus, was also offered citizenship, though he allegedly declined. But the Golden Visa program has also drawn sharp criticism from anti-corruption activists and EU lawmakers, who warn that it provides a gateway for dirty money and criminal elements to gain a foothold in Europe. They argue that the lack of transparency and due diligence in the application process makes it all too easy for individuals with questionable backgrounds to slip through the cracks. Despite these concerns, the allure of Russian money has proven too strong for Cyprus to resist. By 2018, Russian investors had poured an estimated 4.8 billion euros into the Cypriot economy through the Golden Visa program providing a much-needed lifeline for a country still reeling from the 2012 to 2013 financial crisis. But as the true scale of Russian influence on the island began to emerge, so too did the cracks in the golden facade of Cyprus's citizenship by investment scheme. In August 2020, a bombshell investigation by Al Jazeera's investigative unit blew the lid off Cyprus's golden visa program, exposing the shocking extent of the island's complicity in enabling corruption and money laundering. The leaked documents, dubbed the Cyprus Papers, contained the names and details of over 2,500 individuals who had been granted Cypriot citizenship between 2017 and 2019, including convicted criminals, politically exposed persons, and billionaires from more than 70 countries. Among the most shocking revelations was the sheer scale of Russian involvement in the program, the Cyprus Papers revealed that Russian nationals accounted for more than half of all Golden Visa recipients during the two-year period, with many of them boasting close ties to the Kremlin and suspected links to organized crime. One such individual was Alexei Mordashov, a Russian steel magnate with an estimated net worth of $20 billion. According to the leaked documents, Mordashov was granted Cypriot citizenship in 2019 despite being named in a 2018 U.S. Treasury report as one of 96 Russian oligarchs with close ties to Vladimir Putin. The Cyprus Papers also shed light on the complex web of offshore companies and trusts used by Russian billionaires to obscure their wealth and ownership structures. 
Many of these entities were registered in notorious tax havens like the British Virgin Islands and Seychelles, with Cypriot law firms and banks acting as key intermediaries in the flow of funds. As the revelations from the Cyprus Papers began to make headlines around the world, pressure mounted on the Cypriot government to take action. In October 2020, authorities announced a series of reforms to the Golden Visa program, including stricter due diligence requirements and the revocation of citizenship for individuals who had been convicted of serious crimes. But for many critics, these measures were too little, too late. They argued that the damage had already been done and that Cyprus's reputation as a safe haven for Russian oligarchs was now firmly entrenched. As the fallout from the Cyprus Papers continues to reverberate across the globe, one thing is clear. The golden age of Russian money in Cyprus may be coming to an end, but the legacy of corruption and secrecy it leaves behind will be felt for years to come. As the sun sets over the Mediterranean, casting a warm glow over the bustling streets of Limassol, a darker story is unfolding behind the closed doors of Cyprus's banks. For years, these unassuming institutions have been at the heart of a massive flow of Russian money, with billions of euros pouring into the island's coffers each year. In 2022 alone, Russian deposits in Cypriot banks reached a staggering 5.6 billion euros, accounting for nearly a third of all foreign deposits on the island. It's a figure that speaks to the deep and enduring ties between Cyprus and Russia, a relationship that has been forged through years of cozy dealings and mutual backscratching. At the center of this web of money and influence are Cyprus's politicians and business elite, many of whom have cultivated close relationships with Russian oligarchs and their associates. From lavish parties on private yachts to backroom deals in smoke-filled rooms, the lines between politics and business have become increasingly blurred in this sun-soaked paradise. But it's not just Cyprus's politicians who have been caught up in the Russian money machine. Major accounting firms like PricewaterhouseCoopers PwC, have also played a key role in facilitating the flow of Russian wealth through the island's banks. According to leaked documents, PwC's Cyprus office has been involved in setting up complex offshore structures for Russian clients, including some who have been sanctioned by the United States and European Union. In one case, PwC allegedly helped a Russian billionaire transfer $1.4 billion out of a Cyprus-based company just days before he was hit with sanctions. As the scale of Russian money laundering through Cyprus's banks has become increasingly clear, international authorities have begun to take notice. In 2022, the U.S. Department of Justice launched a major investigation into Russian oligarchs' use of Cyprus's financial system to evade sanctions and hide their wealth. Using cutting-edge forensic accounting techniques and data analysis, U.S. investigators have been able to trace the flow of Russian money through Cyprus's banks and beyond, uncovering a vast network of shell companies, offshore trusts, and other shadowy entities used to obscure the true ownership of assets. But even as the net begins to close in on Russian oligarchs and their enablers in Cyprus, the island's authorities have been slow to act. With so much money at stake and so many powerful interests involved, it remains to be seen whether Cyprus will be able to break free from the grip of Russian influence and chart a new course for its future. As Russian money has poured into Cyprus's banks and real estate market, one might have expected the European Union to take a more active role in policing the island's financial sector. After all, Cyprus has been a member of the EU since 2004, and its banks are subject to the same regulations and oversight as those in other member states. But despite repeated warnings from anti-corruption activists and even some EU lawmakers, Brussels has largely turned a blind eye to the growing problem of Russian money laundering in Cyprus. In fact, when Cyprus joined the EU in 2004, it did so with a banking sector that was already deeply entwined with Russian interests, thanks in part to the island's long-standing ties to the Soviet Union. Even as Cyprus's economy teetered on the brink of collapse during the 2012 to 2013 financial crisis, the EU and its partners at the European Central Bank, ECB, were hesitant to push for greater transparency and accountability in the island's banking sector. Instead, they focused on imposing harsh austerity measures and bailout conditions 
that many Cypriots saw as punitive and unfair. In the years since the crisis, the EU has taken some steps to tighten its anti-money laundering regulations, including the creation of a new agency to oversee financial crime investigations. But critics argue that these measures have been too little, too late, and that the EU has failed to use its leverage to force Cyprus to clean up its act. One of the biggest loopholes in the EU's anti-money laundering framework has been the exclusion of money laundering from the ECB's single supervisory mechanism, which was set up in the wake of the financial crisis to oversee the Eurozone's largest banks. This has allowed Cyprus's banks to continue to operate with relative impunity, even as evidence of widespread money laundering has mounted. As the revelations from the Cyprus papers have made clear, the EU's failure to crack down on Russian money laundering in Cyprus has had far-reaching consequences, not just for the island itself, but for the entire European financial system. With billions of dollars in dirty money flowing through Cyprus's banks each year, it's clear that the EU must take a more active role in policing its own backyard or risk becoming complicit in the very corruption it claims to oppose. As the sun rises over the Mediterranean, casting a harsh light on the once glittering facade of Cyprus's golden visa program, the cracks in the island's carefully crafted image are becoming increasingly hard to ignore. In recent years, a series of high-profile scandals and investigations have begun to chip away at the veneer of respectability that Cyprus has worked so hard to cultivate. From the revelations of the Cyprus Papers to the ongoing legal battles over Russian oligarchs' assets, the island's reputation as a safe haven for the wealthy and powerful is coming under increasing scrutiny. One of the most prominent cases to emerge in recent years has been that of Oleg Deripaska, the Russian aluminum magnate with close ties to Vladimir Putin. Deripaska, who was granted a Cypriot passport in 2017, has been at the center of a web of allegations involving money laundering, sanctions evasion, and political corruption. In the United States, Deripaska has been accused of laundering money through a complex network of shell companies and real estate deals, including a $15 million mansion in Washington, D.C. that he allegedly purchased through an intermediary. He has also been linked to Paul Manafort, the former campaign manager for Donald Trump, who has been convicted of tax and bank fraud charges related to his work in Ukraine. As the net has begun to close in on Deripaska and other Russian oligarchs, Cyprus has found itself caught in the crosshairs. In 2018, the island's government was forced to revoke the passports of 26 foreign investors, including several Russians, after an investigation found that they had been granted citizenship under false pretenses. But even as Cyprus has begun to take steps to clean up its act, the damage to its reputation may already be done. With the EU and other international bodies increasingly focused on cracking down on money laundering and sanctions evasion, Cyprus faces an uphill battle to regain the trust of the global community. For the island's politicians and business elite, the stakes could not be higher. With billions of dollars in Russian money at risk and the eyes of the world watching, Cyprus must now choose between its long-standing ties to Moscow and its future as a respected member of the European community. As the cracks in the facade of Cyprus's golden visa program continue to widen, one thing is becoming increasingly clear. The island's days as a playground for Russian oligarchs may be numbered. But the question remains, will Cyprus be able to emerge from this crisis with its reputation intact or will it forever be tainted by its association with the shadowy world of international finance and corruption? As we have seen throughout this investigation, the story of how Cyprus became a haven for Russian oligarchs is a complex and troubling one. From the golden beaches of Limassol to the boardrooms of Nicosia, the island has been deeply entwined with the fortunes of Russia's wealthy and powerful for decades. But as the revelations of the Cyprus Papers and other investigations have made clear, this relationship has come at a steep cost. By enabling money laundering, sanctions evasion, and other illicit activities, Cyprus has not only compromised its own integrity, but has also undermined the stability and security of the entire European financial system. As we look to the future, it is clear that Cyprus faces a stark choice. Will it continue to prioritize short-term profit over long-term stability? 
Or will it take the necessary steps to break free from the grip of Russian influence and chart a new course for itself? The answer to this question will not be easy, and it will require a great deal of political will and courage. But if Cyprus is to have any hope of regaining the trust of the international community and securing its place as a respected member of the European Union, it must be willing to confront the uncomfortable truths about its past and take bold action to build a better future. In the end, the story of Cyprus and its golden visas is not just a cautionary tale about the dangers of greed and corruption. It is also a powerful reminder of the importance of transparency, accountability, and integrity in the global financial system. As we move forward, let us hope that the lessons of this scandal will not be forgotten and that Cyprus and other countries will take the necessary steps to build a more just and equitable world for all. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this documentary and learned something new. If you want to see more documentaries like this, please subscribe to our channel The Market Detectives and share this video with your friends. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. We would love to hear from you. See you next time on The Market Detectives.